Our next speaker for today in the Understanding 3 conference is Professor Constantin Stoyanescu. Professor Stoyanescu is the director of the Department for Theoretical Philosophy at the University of Bucharest. Um, uh, he's also a longstanding uh, 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 teacher of mine, and it's a pleasure and a privilege to welcome him in, uh, in this um, um, uh, uh, session today. And he will be speaking to us about ways of understanding the phenomenal, the cases of pictorial representation and exemplification. Uh, Professor Stoyanescu, you have the floor. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Andre. Uh, sorry for uh, these technical problems. I hope that uh, in uh, the course of my uh, lecture, uh, all will be uh, uh, good. Uh, so, uh, first of all, I uh, want to say that the background, the framework, and uh, also the sources uh, of uh, my uh, today's uh, lecture uh, are in uh, some uh, books and papers written by uh, Nelson uh, Goodman and uh, Kathleen Elgin. Uh, first uh, of all, uh, I uh, started with uh, the structure of uh, appearances, uh, then uh, uh, with uh, uh, language of art, and uh, uh, after uh, these uh, uh, two, uh, Another, another important uh, uh, book written by uh, Goodman is uh, The Ways of World Making. Uh, of course, uh, my uh, idea for the title of my lecture, uh, Ways of uh, Understanding the Phenomenal, uh, is uh, uh, given by uh, Nelson Goodman with his theory about the ways uh, of world making. Uh, then uh, Goodman and uh, uh, Kathy uh, LG uh, have uh, written together a book uh, with uh, the title Reconceptions in uh, Philosophy, Arts, and uh, Science. And uh, this uh, uh, book is uh, the turning point towards a new theory of understanding. Later, uh, Kathy uh, LG uh, uh, proposed other uh, two uh, articles where he, uh, she uh, developed uh, the theory proposed together with uh, Ullman in um, uh, understanding in art and science uh, and uh, uh, understanding and uh, facts. Uh, so, uh, using uh, uh, these um, uh, uh, books, I uh, uh, tried to explore all uh, their epistemological uh, commitments. And uh, uh, I think uh, that uh, at the beginning, uh, it is uh, necessary to uh, go back uh, to uh, Plato uh, dialogues. Why? Uh, because, uh, uh, as uh, we uh, know, in uh, uh, Tetetos, um, uh, uh, Plato uh, offer us the so-called uh, classical or standard uh, definition of uh, knowledge. Uh, as uh, uh, justified uh, through uh, belief. Uh, but uh, there are uh, two um, uh, groups of uh, interpreters uh, regarding uh, this uh, uh, theory from uh, uh, Tetetos. And uh, uh, I think uh, that uh, the uh, division is uh, uh, between uh, the uh, traditional interpretation, uh, which uh, is uh, uh, based on uh, uh, the hypothesis of the so-called doctrinal unity of uh, uh, Plato's uh, ideas uh, from uh, uh, Meno to uh, Republic and then uh, to uh, Tetetos. Uh, and uh, the idea is uh, uh, that in all uh, these, uh, Plato works with uh, knowledge as uh, justified uh, through uh, uh, belief. And uh, uh, this uh, definition of knowledge is uh, related also with uh, other Platonic theories, for, uh, for example, the uh, theory of uh, recollections from um, uh, Menon or uh, the uh, theory of uh, two words, the intelligible word and the sensible word, which was um, um, exposed in a Republic together with the distinction between episteme and uh, doxa. Uh, the other uh, groups, uh, group of uh, interpreters is uh, the revisionist uh, group. Uh, from uh, uh, the first uh, revisionist where uh, 
the uh, German uh, uh, in uh, the 19th century, uh, beginning with uh, Lutoslavsky, and uh, then uh, we uh, have other revisionists in uh, analytical philosophy, for example, Rai, from Rai to uh, Meg uh, Dao. Uh, this uh, theory uh, about uh, uh, episteme, uh, said uh, these uh, philosophers, uh, requires a special treatment in uh, the wool of uh, Plato's work. For, uh, for example, one uh, of uh, uh, this um, uh, distinction is between, uh, which was proposed by uh, Rai in a, a famous uh, uh, paper about uh, to uh, know how and uh, to know that, is the distinction between acquaintance, uh, knowledge how, and uh, knowledge that. So uh, this uh, means that uh, Plato's work uh, talk about uh, varieties of uh, knowledge and uh, uh, also by acquaintance as a, a kind of uh, a primary uh, knowledge. When I see something, for example, when I see green, this means that I am acquainted with uh, something, not with an object. To know an object, to know that I uh, see uh, something uh, green, an object which is green, this uh, uh, means uh, to talk about uh, a proposition of knowledge. Uh, so this uh, um, uh, is uh, the uh, distinction which was uh, proposed by, uh, by uh, Rai, and uh, then uh, others uh, try to uh, find uh, some uh, uh, symptoms that uh, Plato's uh, Interpretation, uh, uh, correct interpretation is, uh, uh, isn't uh, that uh, unitary one. Uh, no, uh, now uh, we have uh, a new group of uh, radical revisionists, uh, and uh, they propose a new uh, interpretation for uh, Plato's theory about uh, uh, episteme, which is uh, uh, based on uh, the uh, idea that uh, the uh, first meaning and uh, use for uh, episteme uh, isn't uh, knowledge, but uh, uh, understanding. In uh, uh, this uh, group, we uh, have uh, many uh, philosophers from uh, Gail Fine to uh, John uh, uh, Greco. Uh, if uh, uh, we uh, talk now about uh, uh, Goodman and Elgin and their uh, reconceptions in uh, philosophy, uh, they, uh, they begin with uh, this uh, perspective about uh, uh, the meaning of uh, knowledge and uh, the uh, standard definition of it as uh, justified uh, through uh, belief. Uh, their uh, assertion is that uh, traditionally the term uh, knowledge was uh, restricted to the claims that satisfy the highest epistemic standard. But uh, the result, uh, the good result, was uh, that we have a good uh, normative concept. But uh, uh, the result is that uh, uh, concept is uh, too normative, so uh, it uh, doesn't recover all the common and intuitive uses of uh, the term uh, knowledge. Uh, or uh, uh, our, our task uh, is uh, to find uh, a good balance between uh, uh, normative and uh, descriptive, so that to propose a concept which is able uh, to uh, recover uh, the main uh, intuitive uses of uh, the, uh, the term. In uh, uh, that, this uh, view, uh, epistemology has to be uh, reconceived, and uh, this means that uh, it uh, comprehends understanding or uh, cognition in all of its modes, including perception, depiction, and emotion also, and as uh, well as uh, uh, description. So uh, we have to uh, explain ex epistemologically uh, all the different states of uh, our mind, 
which have a, a cognitive uh, uh, content. Uh, whereas uh, uh, knowledge uh, typically uh, requires truth, belief, and uh, justification, we already know uh, this, understanding requires none of this. This is uh, uh, the main dichotomy between uh, the two. Uh, assertions uh, can uh, be understood regardless of their truth and regardless of belief in them. We also can understand different acts of speech. For example, we can understand uh, requests and um, actions. For uh, example, we uh, can uh, understand uh, 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 dancers or dance, uh, their, and their dances. Uh, so these uh, are neither true or false, uh, neither believed or disbelieved, and the subject neither to demonstration uh, nor uh, refutation. Uh, so uh, con uh, this uh, uh, means that uh, understanding be uh, became a, a, co a comprehensive and a versatile term for a, a skill, a process, and uh, also for an accomplishment. Uh, first of all, uh, the understanding is what may be called the cognitive faculty in an inclusive sense, uh, namely the collection of abilities to inquire and invent, to discriminate and discover, connect and clarify, order and organize, adopt, test and reject. Uh, second, understanding is the process of uh, using such skills for the cognitive making and remaking of a world, worlds, and all of a world uh, of all. This uh, process goes on and on, for understanding is always partial. Advancement of the understanding consists in improvement of the relevant skills or in applying them to expand or refine what is understood. And uh, the third characteristic of uh, uh, understanding is uh, that uh, uh, um, is uh, uh, that uh, understanding is what the cognitive process achieves somewhat as knowledge in one sense, uh, consists of what is known, uh, so what is understood is not always believed or established as uh, uh, true. If uh, we uh, take uh, uh, into account all this uh, characteristic of uh, understanding, uh, then this, uh, uh, this means that we have a, a contrast between, uh, uh, between the two, between uh, uh, knowledge and uh, uh, understanding. And uh, this means that uh, uh, instead of truth and uh, justification, uh, we uh, have to propose uh, another future. This is the so-called rightness. Also, it uh, sometimes involves truth as a requirement to combat uh, uh, skepticism. Uh, certainty and knowledge are untainable not because of uh, 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 gross deficiencies in human cognitive capacity, but fatal flaws in the very notions of truth, certainty, and uh, knowledge. This is their uh, radical assertion. Uh, there is a, a contrast between, uh, between the two, of course. Uh, taken as a, a pursuit of uh, knowledge, the cognitive endeavor starts from sure truth and seeks by derivation, observation, and experiment to discover others and to arrive at an accurate description of the real ready-made world. In contrast, taken as the advancement of understanding, the cognitive endeavor starts from what happens to be currently adopted and proceeds to integrate and organize in order to make something right, to construct something that works cognitively. Uh, 
Goodman and uh, uh, Elgin uh, mention uh, uh, some uh, philosophers who uh, were, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, so uh, uh, the, those uh, who uh, open this, uh, this uh, new uh, debate. Uh, they are uh, Kuhn, uh, Feyerabend, and uh, uh, Rorty, uh, because they uh, also re uh, reject the untenable notions of uh, ready-made uh, world, but uh, uh, they uh, reduce inquiry to uh, dialogue and uh, conversation uh, inside the uh, community uh, for uh, uh, Kuhn. Uh, but uh, uh, understanding uh, in uh, 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 their uh, view uh, isn't uh, restricted to facts, and uh, it is uh, uh, more complex, uh, comprehensive uh, than uh, knowledge. Uh, we understand rules and reasons, actions and passions, uh, objects uh, and obstacles, techniques and tools, uh, forms and functions, and uh, fictions as well as facts. This is a reason to find some affinities between arts and uh, sciences. We also uh, understand pictures, uh, words, equations, and uh, uh, diagrams. Uh, ordinarily, these uh, are not uh, isolated accomplishments. They are combined into an understanding of a subject, of a discipline or field of study. Understanding isn't embedded just in sentences. It isn't just propositional knowledge, as I have said. Uh, this uh, dichotomy between uh, cognitive uh, and uh, the uh, emotive, uh, from uh, this uh, perspective, became a dubious one on many grounds. And uh, its uh, application became so puzzling when aesthetic and uh, scientific experience alike are seen to be fundamentally cognitive in uh, character. Why? Uh, because uh, uh, emotions uh, functions cognitively in aesthetic experience. The work of art is apprehended through the feelings as well uh, uh, through the senses. Uh, uh, for, for example, the Mondrian uh, paintings uh, and uh, the Webber uh, music are not uh, uh, obviously more emotive than uh, uh, Newton's and Einstein uh, uh, love. This is uh, a strong uh, challenge, I, uh, I think, to, to say uh, uh, this. Uh, in sciences, uh, we find uh, the same uh, mixture between cognition and feelings. For example, uh, let's take the case of physics. It involves a constellation of commitments that organize its objects and our access to them in ways that render those objects intelligible. Understanding physics is not merely or mainly a matter of knowing physical truths. It involves a field for the subjects, a capacity to operate uh, within the constraints uh, that uh, the discipline dictates, or to challenge these constraints effectively. Uh, understanding uh, a particular fact or finding uh, concept or uh, value, uh, technical law, is largely a matter of knowing where it fits and how it functions in the matrix of commitments that constitute uh, the, uh, the science. Uh, if uh, we uh, try to develop uh, this uh, perspective, uh, uh, then uh, we have uh, uh, to talk about the so-called the system of uh, uh, categories and uh, the consequence of this uh, uh, theory, the plurals. Uh, the uh, ability uh, to describe, to represent or recognize anything requires a system of uh, uh, categories. Uh, in, uh, in terms of which a domain is organized. Acquiring such a system involves learning what labels, verbal or nonverbal, belong to the system, 
what distinctions are in, uh, uh, in the domain they uh, mark, how such distinctions are to be recognized. In uh, describing an object, uh, we apply a label to it. Uh, typically, uh, that label uh, belongs to a family of alternatives that uh, collectively sort the object in a domain. Such a family of alternatives may be called a system, and uh, the object, its source, its uh, real. Uh, therefore, a system is a scheme applied to a real. Uh, so we work with this uh, system of uh, uh, categories. Uh, and from here, pluralism uh, results. A number of independently acceptable system uh, can be constructed, none of which has a claim to epistemological primacy. In some cases, different system with a common real uh, answer to different interests. For instance, a system for constructing uh, roadmaps is quite different for a system for constructing uh, counter maps in, uh, in geography. Uh, this uh, uh, pluralistic uh, uh, view was uh, stated uh, by, uh, uh, Gould, uh, by Goodman in uh, his uh, uh, paper, The Way the World Is, where he uh, uh, claims that the world is in many ways as it can be described or seen or pictured. There isn't a thing as the way the world is. We don't have a ready-made uh, uh, word. This is the, uh, the idea. Uh, Goodman mentioned uh, Ryle's idea uh, to uh, compare the relation between a table as a, a perceived solid object, the uh, table where is my <laughs> computer, uh, and uh, as a swarm of atoms uh, with the relation uh, between uh, uh, a college library catalog and uh, an uh, account uh, uh, register. Of course, uh, the uh, library catalog and the uh, register used by uh, an accountant will be very, very different because uh, they will uh, uh, mention different uh, futures of the objects. Uh, could uh, we uh, conjoin all the ways so that to obtain the way in uh, which the world is, uh, any combination would be just another peculiar way. The fact that we speak about many world descriptions or world pictures does not uh, imply that there is a unique uh, thing that is described or a, a picture. Uh, 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 Putnam uh, comment uh, these uh, ideas uh, proposed by, uh, uh, by Goodman. And uh, uh, I uh, 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 mention uh, the, uh, rem some uh, remarks. Uh, uh, first uh, uh, of uh, all, that uh, uh, Goodman points out that the uh, phenomenal itself has uh, many equally valid descriptions. In uh, his view, in a uh, uh, Putnam's view, uh, this arises from uh, two reasons. First of all, uh, perception uh, is uh, itself influenced by interpretations provided by habit, culture, and uh, uh, theory. Uh, Goodman's uh, long and close acquaintance with uh, uh, all these uh, uh, ideas uh, was um, uh, explored in. Uh, his uh, book with many references to uh, uh, psychological research. Uh, therefore, we see uh, toothbrushes uh, and vacuum tubes as uh, um, toothbrushes and uh, vacuum tubes, not as uh, arrangements of uh, uh, color uh, uh, patches, because we have uh, uh, a, a common uh, culture and we live in this uh, a culture where toothbrushes are toothbrushes. Uh, uh, secondly, there is, uh, for Goodman, as uh, for the late Wittgenstein, uh, no sharp line to be drawn uh, between the character of the experience 
and the description given by the subject. And um, uh, Goodman offer such kind of, uh, of uh, description. It is uh, very uh, famous and uh, uh, you can, uh, can uh, see it. It's, uh, it's uh, about um, uh, the uh, heliocentric uh, perspective uh, and uh, the uh, opposite uh, one. If, uh, uh, the, uh, sun go around the earth or the earth go around uh, the sun? This is the question starting from uh, our uh, perceptions in uh, the way in uh, which we understand uh, them. Uh, another, uh, another important thing is uh, the relation between uh, um, this uh, uh, perspective about uh, understanding uh, and uh, uh, reference and uh, exemplification. Uh, we describe the world in different uh, ways and we describe it referring to uh, it. The varieties of uh, reference uh, uh, may be uh, grouped under four uh, headings. Uh, denotation, exemplification, uh, expression, and mediated uh, uh, reference. Uh, and uh, also, we uh, can have a variety of uh, references. Uh, in the science, also in uh, arts, it's uh, obvious that we uh, are able to understand these uh, words uh, as a variety of uh, references. Uh, let's uh, 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 talk, for, uh, for example, uh, about um, this um, uh, uh, idea regarding uh, references uh, and uh, exemplification uh, using uh, an, uh, uh, a paper written by uh, uh, John Sir uh, about a famous uh, uh, painting, uh, uh, Velasquez, who was uh, the painter, uh, Last uh, Meni uh, Meninias or uh, the Maid of uh, Woman. Uh, Picasso uh, uh, painted then uh, more than uh, 40 uh, variations of, of this uh, uh, painting. Uh, John Searle, in uh, his uh, paper, uh, mentioned that the painting uh, offered an usually complex network uh, of six representational uh, relationships. Uh, it uh, represents the double portrait of Velasquez working on. The mirror represents it by reflection. Uh, then the double uh, portraits of uh, the queen and the king. And uh, uh, then um, uh, the uh, double uh, portraits of uh, 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 Meninias, the maids of uh, uh, Homa. Uh, so we have uh, here a good example regarding the complexity of uh, the reference in, uh, uh, in arts and uh, in uh, uh, painting. And uh, uh, it's uh, uh, important to, uh, to understand that uh, uh, in order to, to understand this, we, we need an educated uh, eye. Uh, because without uh, an educated eye, we uh, can't see all these uh, network of, uh, of uh, relations. Uh, if uh, uh, we uh, try to understand this, to explain the nature of uh, Victoria representation, then uh, 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 before of all, we uh, have to uh, make a distinction between uh, the so-called naive view of uh, uh, representation and um, uh, the uh, correct uh, uh, view of uh, it. Uh, the naive view is uh, that uh, A represents uh, B if and uh, only if A uh, appreciably resembles B, or uh, A represents B to the extent that uh, A resembles B. But uh, resemblance, uh, unlike representation, is reflexive. Uh, A uh, resembles A and um, uh, symmetric. B is as much like uh, A and A is like B. Uh, representation isn't reflexive. 
a painting may uh, represent the Duke of Wellington, but uh, the Duke uh, doesn't uh, represent the painting. Uh, resemblance is uh, an insufficient condition for a representation. So let's explore another uh, way. Uh, we'll uh, consider that a picture to represent an object must be a symbol for it, stand for it, refer to it, and um, uh, uh, no degree of resemblance is sufficient to uh, establish the requisite relationship of reference. Therefore, denotation is the core of representation as is independent of uh, uh, rest. Uh, this uh, means that uh, representation is a special kind of denotation. But uh, which is the difference between uh, pictorial denotation and verbal or diagrammatic denotation? May we say that uh, if A denotes B and uh, uh, then A is a representation of B, just if uh, A resembles B, the uh, presupposition of artistic representation is uh, imitation is hidden by uh, uh, this, um, uh, this uh, uh, question. But uh, uh, as uh, we, we uh, know, this uh, theory of uh, demolished by uh, uh, the so-called uh, idea about uh, the innocent eye proposed by uh, Combrick and uh, uh, in, um, uh, in uh, science and uh, uh, analytical philosophy by uh, the so-called myth of the given proposed by, uh, by Serres. The uh, presupposition of uh, any uh, theory of uh, imitation is that the object is to be copied as uh, seen under aesthetic conditions by the free and innocent eye. By there is no innocent eye. The eye has its own history. It is related with its work, its past, and all the other uh, uh, sense organs. Uh, it selects, rejects, organizes, discriminates, associates, classifies, analyzes, uh, constructs. It isn't a mirror. The same uh, in sciences, uh, where we can use for uh, comparison the myth of uh, the people. Uh, this, uh, this means that um, the notion of copying something or to mirror uh, something in lofty terms is uh, wrong uh, in arts and uh, science. A picture never merely uh, represents X, uh, but uh, rather represents X as a man or represents X to be a mountain or represents the fact that X is a, a man, for, uh, for example. So this uh, means that uh, uh, we have a representation S. This locution represents S uh, has uh, uh, two different uh, uses. Uh, the first, I uh, will give this uh, example, a picture represents Winston Churchill as an adult. The second, a picture represents Winston Churchill as an infant, where the picture doesn't uh, represent the infant Churchill, but the adult Churchill as an infant. This, uh, this means that a picture that represents a man denotes him. A picture that represents a fictional man is a man picture. And the picture that represents a man as a man is a man picture denoting him. Two, uh, while the first case concerns only what the picture denotes and the second only what kind of picture it is, the third concerns both the denotation and the uh, classification. So, uh, because uh, uh, I uh, uh, don't uh, have enough time to uh, develop the other idea about uh, exemplification models and uh, diagram, I uh, uh, will say uh, just that uh, we use exemplification uh, uh, also in uh, arts and uh, uh, it's in uh, science, but only in, uh, in everyday uh, uh, times, uh, uh, everyday uh, life. For example, when uh, uh, we use uh, samples, 
uh, then we use uh, models in, um, uh, in uh, science. Uh, in order to understand something, we can use a model and uh, that, uh, that model, uh, if it will be an uh, uh, intuitive one, uh, we will be able to understand a very complicated theory uh, about uh, something. For, uh, for uh, example, uh, when we understand the, the atomic um, uh, structure of uh, the matter, if uh, uh, we use the model proposed by uh, Schrodinger, uh, of, uh, for the atoms as uh, a solar system with uh, the electrons uh, moving uh, on, uh, on the uh, orbit. Uh, and uh, uh, if um, uh, we uh, compare, uh, for, uh, for example, an uh, electrocardiogram with uh, a Hokusai uh, drawing of uh, uh, mountain uh, uh, Fujiyama, uh, we will uh, understand that uh, the difference is uh, just uh, a matter of uh, degree uh, because representation and description are denotative uh, together uh, and uh, uh, exemplification and uh, expression uh, run in the opposite direction from uh, denotation. They, uh, they um, uh, start from the object with, which is the denotation to the uh, next uh, uh, level. Uh, so we have uh, these uh, uh, two uh, contrary uh, uh, directions between uh, uh, representations and the exemplification. Uh, the Michelson Morley uh, uh, experiment in uh, science uh, demonstrates that the speed of light uh, is uh, uh, constant, and uh, also uh, in the arts, for example, uh, the famous um, uh, painting. Uh, number one by uh, Jackson uh, Polo, uh, uh, highlight the viscosity of, uh, uh, of uh, pain. Uh, so we, uh, we uh, don't uh, uh, have to say uh, something about uh, them. It's uh, enough to make the experience, uh, to make that uh, Michelson Moore experiment to understand the uh, natural phenomena, or just to see uh, the uh, painting to understand the viscosity. Uh, so uh, this uh, this uh, uh, means that uh, experiments exemplify a theoretically significant features. Uh, a work of art exemplify, uh, exemplify formally significant uh, features. This is uh, the difference uh, between. Uh, the two. But uh, uh, more than uh, this, uh, we, uh, we have uh, for uh, any uh, exemplification or um, uh, experiment uh, or representation, we have uh, a background. Uh, and uh, this, uh, this means that, um, all, uh, uh, that uh, any symbol needs uh, an, uh, an interpretation and that any interpreter work with a background, with a, a constellation of uh, assumptions. Uh, and uh, uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, means that uh, we uh, work all the time with, uh, with uh, 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 background, and uh, even uh, when uh, we propose a, a metaphorical uh, exemplification, for, uh, for example. Uh, we work in uh, this uh, uh, framework, for, uh, for example, in the case of uh, mental uh, experience, experiments, and um, in uh, this uh, case, uh, we uh, have uh, an, uh, an epistemic uh, difficulty because uh, it isn't uh, clear how can we advance in understanding uh, beyond uh, the uh, uh, fiction beyond the, the uh, ideas which uh, were, uh, were taught. So uh, the uh, conclusion is uh, that um, uh, the mind uh, is uh, engaged in uh, a perception just in, it is in order uh, in all the other mod, mod, modes of cognition. It uh, imposes order or as much as it discerns in a domain. Moreover, things do not present themselves to us in any privileged vocabulary or system of categories. 
we have and use a variety of vocabularies and a system of uh, uh, categories that yield different ways in which things can be faithfully represented or described. Nothing about a domain favors one faithful uh, characterization of its objects over others. To choose among them requisites knowing how the several system uh, functions. So that's uh, uh, all. Uh, I, uh, uh, I uh, hope that we uh, have uh, time for a, for a uh, debate. Thank, uh, thank you. All right. Thanks so much to Professor Stoyanescu for a wonderfully generous talk. And um, as, as you can see here, uh, everyone in uh, the online uh, audience joins me as well. Uh, in uh, applauding you. Yeah. Um, so uh, let's see if there are uh, some questions for Professor Stoyanescu, uh, either from the room or from uh, our online participants. If you'd like to make yourselves known, please either raise your virtual hand, you have the reactions button there, or maybe just signal that in chat and uh, I'll see and you'll have the word. Okay, hi, please go ahead. If you if you could maybe shout at us so oh, folks okay. online could hear you as well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, if you could just I think it might just be better if you wanted to uh, come a tad bit closer and they could hear that way. Otherwise there's all right, we're going to try it a little. A little something. So please let me know when you turn on. Yeah. Now we have microphone. Let's see. Now it's okay. Yeah. You don't have me. Okay. Uh, it's it's only a, a, a question if uh, because you you talk about uh, representation art and uh, sciences and I was. Uh, uh, Thinking about uh, the, the theory, uh, the recent theory of Van Frassen about uh, scientific representation, and if you thought uh, that he might illuminate somehow this uh, distinction that you were mentioning. I mean, uh, he's uh, much more radical and pragmatic, right? And uh, I, I was there when he, he, he was developing his, uh, what would become then his theory and scientific representation, right? And uh, for him, as you mentioned uh, at the beginning, yeah, uh, it, it, it depends totally on uh, uh, the pragmatics. Yeah, you could take uh, whatever word object you want to represent whatever other object. So uh, it doesn't uh, have such a, a limit that you will say, okay, the, the man doesn't represent the picture, only the picture represents a man. Yeah, but in some context, you could say also that the man represents picture. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> yeah, in Van Frassen's uh, theory, right? But yeah, I, I want you to know if you have some thoughts about it. <laughs> we have to make some distinction between uh, some of the forms of representation and the forms of used by uh, uh, a painter, for, uh, for example, but uh, we uh, also uh, uh, have uh, uh, the freedom to, to change these, uh, uh, these rules. For, uh, for example, at the, at the end of uh, 19th century, uh, we uh, changed the formal uh, rules. Uh, uh, when uh, we uh, passed from uh, academic uh, picture to the new uh, impressionist. Uh, when uh, 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 Monet uh, painted the uh, uh, sunrise uh, impression, he uh, proposed a new, a new language uh, there. And uh, uh, later, some uh, uh, researchers discovered that uh, uh, Monet uh, was uh, influenced by uh, Japanese paintings by uh, Hokusai uh, uh, drawings of uh, uh, Fujiyama uh, mountain. Because uh, there he uh, found other, uh, let's name them, uh, syntac uh, syntactic uh, rules, rules for uh, the composition of, uh, of a painting. 
then uh, we, uh, we have um, uh, uh, semantic rules, rules uh, about the reference of, uh, uh, the, uh, of the painting. But uh, this uh, reference isn't uh, uh, just an objectual one. It isn't uh, 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 also uh, something uh, uh, immaterial or ineffable. For, uh, for example, uh, uh, when uh, uh, we uh, paint uh, a, a dog, uh, uh, we uh, may uh, uh, propose uh, some, uh, probably an idea about a loyalty for, for example. And uh, if we see in a picture a dog uh, and, uh, and a king, uh, probably this uh, is a, a message uh, about uh, loyalty, uh, not uh, only about the position of, uh, of uh, the king. Then we have other rules for, uh, for a transformation of uh, an um, image into, into uh, another. And uh, this... Uh, are uh, also very important, and Mincha uh, uh, have a lecture about uh, uh, vocabulary, and we have also uh, vocabularies in uh, science and, uh, and in arts uh, uh, also. And we transform, for example, our, our vocabulary in uh, uh, science. Uh, let's talk, for example, about uh, theory of uh, impetus in a medieval age, uh, then we, uh, we have uh, uh, Galileo Galilei uh, idea about the inertial movement, and uh, uh, then we uh, we have the uh, uh, Newtonian uh, uh, physics. But uh, this uh, vocabulary is uh, transformed uh, in uh, uh, in a relativistic physics uh, uh, proposed by uh, by uh, uh, Einstein. So uh, we have uh, also. Uh, some uh, uh, pragmatic context when we have the possibility to uh, compare and to understand uh, something using uh, an item from another domain. For, uh, for example, if uh, uh, we want to introduce somebody in, a, uh, in a impressionist music, uh, the music of uh, Debussy, uh, we uh, may use uh, a painting uh, uh, a Manet uh, painting, yes? Uh, and uh, uh, probably uh, he uh, has a chance to understand what uh, uh, impressionism uh, means. Of course, uh, it's uh, easy to uh, use uh, Ravel uh, for, uh, or, or to use Debussy for those who want to understand Ravel. But uh, uh, I am uh, sure that uh, the uh, the uh, uh, painting uh, will illuminate us to understand impressionist uh, uh, music. So uh, we have uh, this uh, variety of, uh, of uh, context in uh, which he uh, can uh, work. Thank you, thank you, Rika. Thanks so much to Dr. Vuz for the question and to Professor Stoyanescu for answering. If there are some more questions, uh, please uh, point them out. Um, If not, I, I think I'm just going to ask a question of my own. So um, um, there is this um, concern um, that um, um, Schrodinger sometimes had, and that's been uh, um, uh, brought again to the fore of, uh, of late by Henk de Gerg, uh, this idea that uh, we care about the visualizability of what's being modeled by yeah. uh, our theoretical <laughs> artifacts. And uh, I wonder if, if uh, uh, you have any uh, suggestions on how uh, the difference between uh, sort of brood images uh, from visualizability plays into the uh, Goodman-Elgin uh, discussion about exemplification and about um, uh, representation. So I, I, do, do you think that um, uh, their line is meant to apply to both um, uh, indistinctly, or do you think that they, um, uh, the kind of, the sort of representation and exemplification and instantiation that they're after is more akin to um, sort of simplification and pruning in this kind of visualizable way, or just how do you see things? Yes. Uh, Katrin Elgin, uh, in uh, his uh, uh, 
understanding in arts and uh, science, propose, first of all, some similarities between uh, the two uh, domains. But um, uh, then uh, he, uh, she uh, also talked about uh, the uh, accuracy or uh, the so-called rightness. This is uh, the, the word which is used by, uh, by her. So uh, we uh, have to talk about the rightness of our uh, representation. Uh, we don't have here a talk about the truth. We talk about uh, what is right or, or what is uh, wrong. And uh, if uh, a model or a representation or a diagram is uh, uh, right, then uh, this uh, means that we have the possibility to uh, understand that uh, phenomena and uh, to, to explain uh, uh, that. And uh, we'll find this uh, if we are able to use these uh, models in uh, the next uh, step, which is um, a, theoretical, uh, a theoretical step. So this, uh, these uh, models are um, just an exemplification. So we refer to something using the theory, but we need an uh, uh, exemplification. For, uh, for example, in, uh, uh, in, physics, uh, in physics, if we, we uh, talk uh, about the fact that uh, an electron uh, jump from uh, one orbit to, uh, to another. Uh, we, we can't see this <laughs> all we uh, have the possibility to see with a microscope is uh, just a, a change of color because uh, the uh, uh, energetical state of that uh, atomic structure has changed but uh, i uh, i think that this uh, sentence an electron jumps from one orbit to another uh, is uh, uh, an illuminating uh, sentence because we uh, we understand that uh, 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 hidden phenomena which is uh, uh, beyond uh, our uh, visual capacities to see to see Right, and that's a fantastic example. I mean, that itself is a metaphor, right? So what we mean is that the probability of finding an electron on uh, uh, that mm -hmm. specific orbit yes. is is uh, now lower, and so they and the jumping is just a, a kind of a metaphorical depiction, yes. a perspicuous. That that's a fantastic example. Yeah. Um, uh, thank you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you, Andre. Um, any more uh, questions or comments uh, for uh, Professor Stoyanescu? Uh, if not, we're already in overtime. So Thank please you. join me once again in, in thanking him for a fantastic talk. And uh, it was uh, a pleasure to talk about these uh, problems. I hope that uh, we'll uh, have uh, another, another opportunity in the future. Very, very gladly. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you.